So we're told here the four corners of a rectangle are located at the points 1 comma 1, 1 comma 6, 9 comma 6, and 9 comma 1. Plot the four corners of the rectangle on the coordinate plane below. And they gave us these four points and we can move them around with our mouse or our finger depending on what type of a computer we are using. And so let's just go point by point and plot the green points at those points. So the first one is 1 comma 1. And remember, the first coordinate is our x coordinate. The second coordinate is our y coordinate. So the first coordinate tells us how far do we move to the right of the origin. So it's 1. And then the second coordinate, the y coordinate, tells us how far to move up from the origin. So that's also a 1. So 1 comma 1. The next point is 1 comma 6. X coordinate is 1. So we move 1 to the right of the origin. And then the y coordinate is 6. So we move 6 up. And notice, it's at the intersection of the line, or it's at the intersection of when y equals 6 and x equals 1. This is 1 comma 6. All right, now we have 9 comma 6. So let's see, if we take our, if we have x equals 9 right over there, and y is equal to 6, so we'd go up 6. So notice, y is now equal to 6. And we have one last point to plot, 9 comma 1. So when x is 9, y is 1. We go 9 to the right, or we're right above x equals 9. And then we go up 1. This is 9 comma 1. And there you have it. We have the four corners of our rectangle. Then they say, what is the height of the rectangle? Well, if you imagine a rectangle right over here, the height would be the distance between that point and this point, or the distance between that point and that point. And so what is the distance between these points? Let's see, they're on, they both have the same x coordinate, and this one is at y equals 6, this is at y equals 1. So this is 5 higher than this one. So the height is 5. And we could also count it. You could see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 